Hello and welcome. You might be confused about why I'm uploading another Divine Speaker video, but what I'm going to do for it is go through Sign's choices and play more into his his options and his full scenes. Um, I'm going to focus on Leos through the main route that I'll play all of it and once the game comes out I'll go through all his stuff. Um, and then as kind of a secondary route, I'm going to go through like a super cut of signs, choices through the extended and into the common route when that comes out. Um, and then we'll have a full route for, for him, for his actual character route. Um, so stick around and we'll get to all the sign stuff. We did most of it in the Leos route, but... Let's let's see what else this bad boy has for us. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a conversation with Lilas. So we're in the we're in the wagon on our way to Oxibor and we have just been accosted by a strange green man and his bird asked him some questions, been asked some questions, and now we're going to have a chat to Lilas. Hey. Hello. Hmm, what to talk about? We sat in silence for a few minutes, but it didn't feel awkward. I think she's a woman of few words. So, uh, I was wondering, how long have you been driving this wagon? This one? The last three years. They've been the happiest years of my life. Really? What did you do before then? Before, I attended the local school in Oxibor. As the years went by, I found it wasn't for me. It wasn't? I felt lost. I felt like every single person around me was succeeding, and I was the only person stuck in the same place. But I didn't want to be a disappointment. My family put everything into my education. All of their savings were gone. They told me I would be the one to bring them glory and happiness. I felt the weight of their expectations on my shoulders every day. So I stayed in school for another year. By the end of it, my friends and family told me I looked empty. At the time, I wasn't sure what an empty person looked like, but I wanted to fix it. When I finally told them how I felt, so when I finally told them how I felt, they cried for me. They said that my happiness comes before anything else. So I decided to travel. I quit school, bought this wagon, and started a small business. Whenever I can, I make deliveries myself. Did it help? She smiled slightly. You tell me. I'd probably describe her as aloof, but... Not empty. I guess that answers my question. And what about you? Me? I... Uh, I helped out in the orphanage that I grew up in all my life. Now, I guess you could say I'm traveling too. <laughs> Knowledge enriches your mind, but traveling enriches your soul. Both are important, but you have to find a balance that works for you. That's a nice way to look at it. So, what's Oxibor like? Oxibor, it's... Deep down, it's a beautiful place. Below the grime and the politics. <laughs> Deep down. Lately, strange things have been going on. I'll warn you now, if you intend to stay there, be careful. I poked my head into the back of the wagon. The three of them were already fast asleep. I'll tell them when they wake up. They're already fast asleep. You seem close to them. Each in a different way. We all only met a few days ago, but it feels like a lot longer. I think Fawn and I get along pretty naturally. Leos and I didn't start out on the right foot, but I feel like we're gotten closer now, too. I trust them both. Don't tell Leos I told you that, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the green-haired guy? I don't really know him. Sorry he just jumped on board. One freeloader or five of them, it makes no difference to me. Tell me, is there a special one among them? Special? Well, uh... I 
think Leos is special to me. Fawn and I had an instant connection. Maybe I haven't met that person yet. They're both special to me. Maybe I haven't met that person yet. Because you haven't. I'm not sure. They're both important to me, but maybe I haven't met that truly special person yet. I guess a special person could be anyone. Even someone you bump into in the streets. <laughs> Foreshadowing! Nice. Being surrounded by people you trust is important. I wouldn't be where I am now without my special people. <sighs> you must be tired. You should join your friends and get some rest. When you wake up, we should be there. Are you sure you'll be all right? Of course. Good night. I climbed back into where Fawn and Leos were asleep and got comfortable. It looks like it'll be a rocky night's sleep. <sighs> what a day. Time to clean up and go home, I reckon. And we will jump to the next option. We will be right back. Okay. Time for another sign. Um, we missed our first meeting with him, but it doesn't affect the choices. You just bump into him in, in Stagwitch when you're wandering around. You can put those on my tab. <laughs> Who are... Wait. He's so pretty. We've Look met at before. Him. <laughs> you could never forget such a cute face. We bumped into each other yesterday. In Stagwitch? And here we are, meeting again. This must be fate. Have I finally met my Prince Charming? Are you here to sweep me off my feet and carry me into the sunset? Anyway, you can put this all on my tab. You know I'm good for it. But why would you do that? Just imagining all the things you could do with this stuff. How could I not help you guys out? I just hope you plan on inviting me. Ah, uh, but where are my manners? You can call me Sign. Uh, my name's Rain. And this is Fawn and Leos. Not only one, but three handsome men! This must be my lucky day! So, what do we have here? You must be <laughs> I'm just tall, flashing his cash around. Bad boy. And this one is the shy but horny type. And you, how would you describe yourself? Uh, me? Um, consistent? <laughs> What a strange response. Out of all the things you could have gone with. Still, consistency is important. Don't you hate when they change it up when the rhythm was just right before? Keep going with what works. Uh... You're... interesting. I like you. Um... thank you? It's nice to see some new faces here. What drew you in? You must have heard of the durability of Oxaber glass, right? Oh, I heard a little. I mean, why else would you come all the way out here, right? They make the best toys anywhere. When a guy leaves feeling all good about himself after a bad performance, that's where these come in useful. These guys have one job, and they can't even get that right. What is he blathering on about? I have no clue. All right, I'll add it to your tab, but only because you're such a loyal customer, Sign. You know I wouldn't shop anywhere else. These babies last a lifetime. Babies? What do you mean? These... I've been trying to tell you. They're all... S sex toys. Sex toys? What? You didn't know? How could you accidentally stumble into an adult shop and not realize after looking around? Because he's really you know, dumb. If you're curious, <laughs> I'd be happy to show you how they work. Ooh, no. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I can explain. Go on then, mouse boy. <laughs> what you, quid? You use them to... 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 
to make babies. Mm, not really, but okay. Well, I don't know about you, but I learn better when I'm shown rather than told. I'm sure Rain's the same. What do you say? It might be a good learning experience. Well, uh, I'm always up for learning something new. No, wait, stop! He doesn't know! That's why I said I'm happy to teach him. Rain's <laughs> up for it, so why don't you guys sit back and watch? <laughs> Maybe you'll all learn something new today. Yeah, he's so bad. This... This isn't happening. Don't worry, Fawn. I'm sure it'll be quick. <laughs> quick? You should know I like to take things nice and slow. Especially with boys like you. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead then. Gladly. I assume it's okay for me to use the back room? Of course it is. Though, do make sure to clean up after yourself. Oh, I will. Thanks. Follow me. Sign leads us to a small door. Towards the back of the the store. It was unmarked and worn. It looks like it could be a storeroom or something similar. Both Fawn and Leo's trailed behind as we walked. Fawn looked reluctant to go any further, while Leos appeared to be intrigued. Why is Fawn so against it? Maybe following a strange man to a secluded room isn't the smartest idea. I'm sure it's fine. If anything goes wrong, Leos will be there. All right, in you go. Sign pulled the door and held it open as we shuffled inside. Thanks. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Fawn sucked in a deep breath as he looked around the room Sign led us into. Does Lilas live here? There's a giant bed in the center of the room. Ah, even more whips. Light but durable. <laughs> Separating from us, Elias found a wall filled with whips and ropes hung neatly in a line. I like your taste. Your name was Leos, right? Hmm. Leos is more intrigued in the whips than what Sign had to say. At least he's enjoying himself. Well, feel free to join us when you're finished then. Now, on to the main event. Lay down right here, cutie. M me? Cutie? Yeah, you. Get that little butt over here. He motioned to the bed in the middle of the room. It feels weird to use someone else's bed, but I suppose it's okay. We did get permission to use the room. Uh, just give me two seconds then. I took off my shoes and sat down on the edge of the bed. A sign went and grabbed a few things from around the room. Watching him dash around from shelf to shelf, it's like this isn't the first time he's done this. He knows where everything is. Let's do this. A beginner's course in pleasure. Let's take it nice and easy. I'll just need to... Sign gently pushed me down until my back hit the bed. His hands were small, but strong. Wow, the bed's super comfy. Nice. Leo fin Leo. Leo's finished up with what he was doing and stood over the bed, interested. In order to get the full experience, I'll just need to pull this up a little bit. Perfect! He pulled up my shirt towards my chin and exposed my entire chest to everyone, all the way up to my collarbones. Hold your shirt up. You have beautiful skin. It's so pristine and smooth. Got some nice skin. I held my shirt up like he asked and watched as he grabbed a small bottle and flicked open the lid. Thank you. Something about this is kind of embarrassing. Guys... You should really... you need to... This might be a little cold at first, but believe me, it'll heat up in no time. What is it? Oh, 
So Mr. Sex Appeal is finally interested as well, is he? Mr. What? Just tell me what it is. <laughs> well, if you must know, it's a super duper special lotion. A, a lotion? Does it feel good? I wouldn't use it if it didn't. <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Sign scooped up a bunch of the lotion under his fingertips and smiled at me. He really enjoys teaching people. What a nice guy. Rain, is this, is this a bad idea? Why are we doing this? I'm not into doing anything against anyone's will. So just to double check, you want this too, right? Y yeah, I'm interested. Before I could even acknowledge Fawn, Sign rubbed the lotion across my chest. Uh, that's cold. Sorry, sorry. You just have to give it a second to work its magic. <laughs> CG is so... It's so borderline. Like, how low does his pants want to be right now? Sign rubbed the lotion in small circles all over my chest. It took a minute, but gradually the lotion started to warm up. Mm, it feels... nice. Kind of warm. I told you! This stuff is for... See? I told you it would. It only gets better from here on out. Whoa. What's that feeling? Almost immediately after saying that, I felt a slight tingle all over my chest. Are you feeling it yet? Uh, feeling it? Oh, Sign's so cute. Look at him. Oh, he's feeling it all over the bed. Messy. I love his outfit though. Like, look at look at how Sign is dressed. He is so goddamn fashionable. The tingle was intensifying by the second. It made my body feel warm and strange. This is... This is embarrassing, but... Having Fawn and Leo's watch... What's this feeling? It's... A little exciting. It... Uh, it tingles. Don't worry. It's supposed to feel like that. Uh, I... I don't... A shiver ran through my body. And a strange feeling welled up inside of me. Signs barely touching, only lightly running his fingertips over my chest. And yet, the combination of his teasing, the tingles, and our audience... Agreeing to do this in front of an audience too. It's even more exciting, right? Sign ran his fingertips through my hair, pulling it back off my face. His other hand inched downwards painstakingly slowly. With every brush against my skin, I felt like I was losing myself further and further to sign. Suddenly, his hand stopped. Uh, uh, what's wrong? You don't want me to stop? If you want me to keep going, you're going to have to beg. <laughs> the warm feeling slowly wore off as he took his hands away from me. Beg? That's a little... Okay, that's enough! Stop! No more! I can't watch this any longer! Fawn's voice pulled me back into reality. His face was red, and his hands were clenched into fists at his side. Uh, Fawn? This... I can't watch this any longer. I don't want anyone else... I mean... <laughs> I don't want anyone else to touch him! Aw, why? We're both enjoying it. Even Leos was enjoying it. Are you sure you're not just jealous? Definitely jealous. I'm not stealing your boyfriend, am I? <laughs> no! He wishes. Leos? He looked away and refused to make eye contact. Even his face was slightly red. It's not that. They just... I'll explain it to you another time. <laughs> Please, I can't deal with this any longer. Fawn seems pretty upset. I should just trust him. Um, I'm sorry, Fawn. 
N no, you don't need to be sorry. I just... let's just go. <laughs> Fine. I'm sure we'll get the chance to resume another time. It's up to you to keep training him for me then, Fawn. <laughs> if you don't use your skills, you lose them after all. Wh what Also, Rain? Uh, yes? That lotion should wear off soon, so don't worry about that. Oh. Uh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sign exited first, leaving me alone with Leos and Fawn. I rolled my shirt down and quickly put my shoes back on. My chest still tingled a little, but it wasn't nearly as intense as before. But how does any of this have anything to do with babies? Um, let's just head back out for now. Yes, and we will meet at the next sign scene. Okay, so we've skipped a bit and we are at the next choice where we are deciding who to walk around the town with and explore with. So, because we are going with Sign, we are going to pick Sign. He needs, he, Sign seems to know his way around this town. Well, Sign, since you know your way around and you're helping us out, maybe we could look around together. Me? Yeah, if you want to. It's the least I can do to thank you. This is gonna be so fun! Let's get out of here! See you later, Leos! Seriously? <laughs> You're choosing him over me? Even over Mouse Boy? You sunk to a real new He's world. so offended! <laughs> Have fun. You two really suit each other. Two annoying pipsqueaks. He's so angry! <laughs> oh, shh, Leos. I know you're jealous, but I'll return him to you in one piece. I can't promise not to take a few bites first, though. What? Bye! Come on, Rain! <laughs> Bye! Sign linked his arm with mine and dragged me away. Uh, I'll meet you two back here later! Hopefully they heard that. <laughs> For a little while, he was content with just pulling me around like this and humming quietly. Now that it was just the two of us, though, there wasn't much to talk about. We only just met. It's kind of awkward. So, now that I finally have you all to myself, why don't we get to know each other? Oh, I like that. Thank you, by the way. All three of us appreciate you helping us. Even Leos, but he wouldn't admit it. No problem. Anything for a cutie like you. Ooh, I have an idea. Do you want to play the question game with me? The question game? We ask each other questions, one after the other, and you have to tell the truth. Um, what happens if you can't? Hmm, then you have to do a dare. Sound fair? Okay, that sounds fun. <laughs> oh, Should I start? What's your favorite color? Mm, maybe pink or blue. I like both. Like your outfit? The colors suit you. Thanks. Then, for my question, are you seeing Fawn or Leos? <laughs> I can see both of them just fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my eyes. Uh, you know, dating them. Dating them? This is that thing. Fawn and that green-haired weirdo we're talking about. Dating them? Do I feel like that about either of them? Fawn is cute, but I'm not dating anyone. Elias and I are getting close, but... <laughs> no way! N no I'm not dating anyone. I've never dated anyone before. Oh, you'd rather be single? I feel the same way. It's more fun to just keep things casual, don't you think? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look away from Sign for a moment to regain my composure before turning the question to him. Then for my question, why are you helping me, really? Can Ooh. I say because you're just so cute? Hey, that was a good question. That depends on whether you want to do a dare or not. Okay, okay. Because you seem interesting. 
You caught my eye, and I want to know more about you. Once I return home, we'll probably never meet again. Don't you think you should take chances as they come to you? Better to follow my instincts now and not regret it later. That's kind of deep. <laughs> Maybe a little too deep. <laughs> <laughs> then my question should be equally deep. Hmm. What are you hiding from me? Oh. Uh, hiding? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not hiding anything from you. Lies. Really? I'm not so sure. You're searching so desperately for this man, and you're telling me there's no reason why? Really, I just want to... to find him. I think it's time for a dare! You have to give me a kiss! S seriously? I don't know how! <laughs> Wait, you don't know how? <laughs> a kiss on the cheek will do then. But... but... Aw, come on! He pulled my face down until we were staring into each other's eyes. Our faces were only inches apart. His eyes were like emeralds, taking up all of my vision. What do I do? Have you seriously never kissed anyone before? I thought you seemed pretty pure, but this is something else. I haven't. Just, you know, pucker up a little and <laughs> put your lips on my cheek. I'm not asking for much. I'm waiting. Oh god, I love okay. him. I love him so much. I shut my eyes tightly. I can do this. This is what Fawn was telling me about. Three, two, one. I quickly put my lips to his cheek. It's kind of nice being around someone shorter than me for once. The shorties. His face was warm and soft against my lips. It feels nice enough, but what now? Do I move my mouth or just leave it like this? Am I meant to do something? Or am I meant to just stay still? This is getting kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cute! <laughs> you really are a funny guy. Oh, this is such a cute CG though. Look inside, he's so cute. I love him. You're just what am I you're just gonna stay like that? What am I meant to do? No, no, this is <laughs> I think it'd feel better on my lips though. <laughs> How about it? I don't mind teaching you a thing or two. What? Oh. New faces. <laughs> That's rare. When we heard a voice call out to us, I pushed away from sign. A young man with black hair leant against a wall, just ahead, watching us. Compared to the rest of the people we've met, he seemed relatively calm. He watched us approach with a neutral expression on his face. And those glasses, they looked expensive. I'd never seen such a fancy pair. As we got closer, his eyes went wide. He looked me up and down, the same astounded expression on his face. What are you doing in Oxabur? We don't tend to get many visitors anymore. Oh, uh, we're looking for a man that came through here a while ago. His name is Caspian, or Cass for short. <sighs> Caspian? But you couldn't be. My name's Rain. Oh, and this is Sign. Rain? I could have sworn you looked just like... Forget it. Wait, you know him? D do you know where he could be? <sighs> I know him. Or, well, I knew him. As for where he went... He looked between Sign and I. I'll tell you. But I need something from you, too. What? We can't talk about it now. Meet me back here tonight, after sunset. Suspicious. Well, that was suspicious. <laughs> you think so? Totally. Also, we've never actually met, but he looks a lot like... Well, we'll see. But he's definitely up to something. Mm. What should we do? What do you know, Sign? 
Let's start by picking up the other two, firstly. Oh, oh, unless you want to spend some more time alone. I'm up for that, too. <laughs> we could continue where we left off before we were interrupted. Um, I think we better go back now. <laughs> sure. I love his laugh. It's so cute. We quickly retreated. We quickly retraced our steps back to our meeting point, where Ligas and Fawn were already waiting for us. Guys, did you find anything out? Nothing much. And whose fault was that? You spent the whole time hiding behind me and creeping people out. <laughs> <laughs> the people here are scary. A failure then. Well, we ran into a guy with dark hair and glasses. Unlike everyone else, he didn't avoid us or seem scared. He recognized the name Caspian and said knows him. We used to know him. But he'll only tell us if we help him with something. He wants to meet tonight, after sundown. Is... is that a good idea? Meeting up with a stranger at night? Honestly, even I can tell it sounds sketchy, but you it's only a minute to go ago. on. It sounds like bad news, but... As long as I'm there, you won't be able to do anything. All right, fine, let's go. I'll come along too, then. It sounds like fun. Fun? Thanks, guys. It's decided, then. We just need to waste some time until night. I still think it's a bad idea. I mean, what else could it be when you came up with it? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> with such a big, strong man to protect us, we'll be fine. Not long ago, you called me a noodle. <laughs> I have no obligation or want to help you. <laughs> Uh, I love it when he gets so offended by being called a noodle. He is a noodle. Obligation? That's an interesting way to put it. I wonder how someone like you could have been indebted to someone like Rain. It's none of your business. What about our little fawn? Will you keep him safe too? Or is that reserved for your brown haired beau? Every time you open your mouth, it makes me die inside a little more. I think that's enough teasing. What do we do until later? How about lunch? It's on me. Well, I am starving. It's settled then. Come with me. Sign turned and started leading the way. Without missing a beat, his confidence is astounding. Okay. So from there, they will go into the restaurant. They will learn that their entire lives are a lie, although we already knew that. Um, and we will come back for the next choice. But first we've got a really cute CG. Uh, could you play Right away, Sir Sight. <laughs> oh. uh, your feel free to order there whatever you want. They handpicked these dishes just for me after all. Sign is so pretty. Okay, now that we've seen the CG, then we will come back for the next, for the next choice. Okay. We've learnt some new information about... Okay, so we are going to ask for Sign's opinion. Sign, what do you think? Me? Well... It's a little late to turn up anywhere else. For tonight, I think it's best if we just do what he says. Just for tonight, all right? Of course. I've always wanted to sleep over in a haunted house. Ooh, ooh, me too. I'm not serious. No, but I am. <laughs> <sighs> oh, he's so great. Let me show you to your rooms. Follow me. Yeah, we've only got a little bit left to go, so I'm just gonna you can use I get through. Okay. He's not even. I'll let you have a try if you want, though. More than one try, just for you. In fact, be my guest and try all night. Uh, what? <laughs> I, what? I think it's bedtime. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to look around the room.
gonna look through all this stuff. Gonna stay a bit longer. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Sign. It's not funny. Sorry, sorry. Did I scare you? I couldn't help myself. You look terrified. I just wanted to surprise you a little. <sighs> what are you even doing out here? I could ask you the same question. What? I heard a weird tapping, so I came to see what it was. Trying to die. Oh, <laughs> whoops. That was me. I can see that. So now will you tell me? How could I sleep after all the mysterious things that Knox guy said? I just wanted to investigate a little. I feel like a real detective. Aren't you scared? If I say I'm scared, will you hold me? Uh, hold you? Isn't that something like you're supposed to do with someone you love? Love? Who told you that? Uh, Fawn told me. He said that out here, people fall in love and kiss and stuff. That's a weird way to describe it. You make it sound like you don't know what love is. I don't. It's new to me. You're pretty young, right? I'm sure you'll understand eventually. Aren't you younger than me? I'm 22. You're four years older than me? Don't worry, I can teach you all the things you don't know. What? Anyway, that's not really the point. I only recently learned about it. Hmm. This sounds pretty interesting. Why don't you come back to my room so we can talk more? I'm starting to feel scared after all. Um, well, okay. Being out here is kind of creepy anyway. Right, right. I wouldn't want you to trip either. So we should probably hold hands for safety, yeah? <laughs> sure, that sounds fine. That... that sounds reasonable, I think. His fingers smoothly glided between mine. Locking our hands together. This is the first time I've held hands with anyone like this before. What? Like this? He held our hands up in front of my face. The way our fingers laced together was kind of nice. Yeah. It feels nice, right? Huh. Yeah. Sign pulled me along like this, all the way to his room. The door shut behind us with a soft thud. And Sign quickly locked the door. Better safe than sorry, right? Yeah. Sign's room was nearly identical to mine. The same bed, the same table, the same wardrobe. The same amount of dust. They definitely hadn't had many guests lately. What's the point of a big house if it's just gonna sit empty? He sat down on the edge of his bed and beckoned me closer. So I pulled a chair up and sat facing him. We haven't really had much time alone, huh? Well, we only just met. True. It just feels like we've known each other for much longer. Let's use this time to get to know each other. I want to be close with you, too. I'm so jealous of Fawn and Leos. They get to cling to you all they want. Yeah. I want to be friends, too. Oh. Yeah. Friends. Friends. Hey. I have an idea. We could be really special friends. How does that sound? Uh, yeah. There's a good boy. But first, let's continue that discussion from earlier. What do you mean you don't know what love is? I don't really know what to say. In Aureli Cavella, it just doesn't exist. I only just started learning about it from Fawn. No love? None at all? No. We just get matched up by the speaker. No love involved. Not that I fully understand love yet, though. Hmm. 
Then what about sex? You can just fuck whoever you'd like, no strings attached? That sounds amazing! I... Uh, what? Wait, are you kidding? You don't even know about sex? I... Uh, I don't know anything about it. I've only heard a little. But they have kids in Aurelia Cavella, right? Yeah. But you don't know where they come from. That's right. Wow, you've actually lived in a bubble your entire life. I'm almost impressed. Uh, actually, there wasn't a bubble. We were <laughs> surrounded by... Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> so literal. So what did Fawn tell you? He told me that you'd get a warm feeling in your chest, and that's how you know you're in love. Then you get married and kiss and stuff. I met another weird guy who explained a little more to me, too. That's all? You have a lot to learn, then. If you want, I'm happy to teach you. Teach me? Yeah, you know, for, uh, educational purposes. Mm. Professor Sign. Fawn only told you about one side of love anyway. The boring side. Boring. I can teach you about the other side, if you'd like. That's kind of him. Well, if you're offering, please teach me. Seriously? Yay! I was sure you'd say no. He looks pretty excited. It made my heart beat a little, beat a little faster too. There's so much I don't know. Sign's a really nice guy. So, um... Where do we start? Don't worry, we can deflower you one petal at a time. <clears throat> he stood up in front of me, straightened his back and put his hands behind him like a teacher. Why don't we start with a little theory, then move on to something more practical? We'll have to take it slow for a pure boy like you. Uh, okay. Let's start with something simple. Your blue-haired princess was right about love. Mostly. Fluffy feelings, love, marriage, all that soft stuff. Blech. Boring. Blech. You know what comes after that? The good stuff. I guess this is almost a lesson on the birds and the bees, huh? The birds and the bees? You can do all that gushy, fluffy crap, have some boring sex, pop out a few children and ruin your life, or... You can skip all the boring stuff. <laughs> you don't have to be in love to fuck someone. And I promise you, we don't need to have any kids. Wait, wait. Does that mean you were walking around a sex shop with no clue what was going on? I still have no clue. He paced back and forth, deep in thought. He stopped, before turning to face me. I mean, you still have a... Dick, right? What? I hope you don't mind me taking a seat. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I was saying, you do have a dick, right? He ran his fingertips through my hair before slowly dragging them down my body, lower and lower. It sure feels like you have one. He brushed against my pants with his long, slender fingers. Uh, of course I do. So then, surely you've put it to use once or twice? T to use? Are you being shy with me? That's not allowed. You have to answer all the questions your teacher gives you. Just because you have no concept of love doesn't mean you have no natural instincts, right? So... Go on, tell me. I want to know all about you jerking off. His fingers kept teasing, barely touching, but enough to make me feel... something. Uh, uh, of course I have, but I, I couldn't help it. His fingers felt all over my body, as if he, as if he was searching for something. It sent a shiver down my spine and... The way he was talking to me. So seductive and smooth. Of course you couldn't. You don't have to feel bad. That's what it's there for. That's what sex is. Like the feeling you gave yourself. But a hundred times better. A thousand times better. If you do it with me. <laughs> Sales pitch. Nice. Sounds interesting. Right? So... With his arms wrapped around my neck, 
He stared straight into my eyes. How about that practical lesson? Okay. This is where we risk it all. We're gonna go for the practical lesson. Yeah. I I want the practical lesson. That's the answer I was hoping for. How about you ask me a bit more nicely though? Since I'm going out of my way for you. What? His fingertips ran down my chest. With every touch, I couldn't help but shiver. Uh, please sign. I want you to teach me. That's more like it. Slowly, sign brought his hands to his own shirt. One, two, three, buttons undone. Ooh, they're getting lewd. Got his nips out. Why don't you give me a hand? Uh, okay. With shaky hands, I undid the rest of them and exposed his chest. Smooth, beautiful skin. I wanted to run my hands over it. My voice was barely recognizable. It was heated and words only barely slipped out between my heated breaths. When I looked at looked up at Sign, I found him watching me closely. You really are interesting. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Look at that. His lips met deep His lips met mine in a deep, intense kiss. With one hand around my neck, the other he used the other to roll up my shirt and play with my chest. Between his wandering hand and his lips... Hey, you're... Hard? You don't feel half bad yourself. I don't... I don't know how to. That's what I'm here for. Just follow my lead. <gasps> he slipped his tongue... Wait, what? What are you uh, doing? Shh. Relax. It started shallow, but quickly deepened. I tried to copy his movements, but it was harder than it seemed. He stroked the roof of my mouth before entwining our tongues. The more he touched and played with me, the faster the tension in my body melted away. He's... he's good. His fingers moved from my chest down, down, teasingly. They brushed lightly against my pants. With his fingers, he played at my trousers. His tongue still exploring my mouth, and it was getting hard to breathe. <laughs> if he keeps going like this... Well, that was fun. <laughs> uh -huh. Sign pulled his soft lips away from mine and moved his hands back to my neck. I have a feeling if we go any further, your bodyguard might get upset. Plus, we'll need to save something for the next lesson, right? He gave me a wink and stood up. Now that we were separated, all of the blood rushed to my face. What was that? Why did I... I'm so embarrassed. So, what do you think? I'm a good teacher, right? Maybe I can be your private tutor. Uh, uh, I, uh, I think I'm going to head to bed. Aww, you won't even spend the night with me? I think I should. Aww, this is kind of embarrassing, but I didn't want to tell you. I have a grave illness, and if I spend the night alone, I could die. What? <laughs> Wait a second. Of course I'll spend the night here. Uh, we wouldn't want you to die. That's awful. Uh, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, there's no way I could make you stay after telling you that. Uh, but you could die. Of course I'll stay here. <laughs> What is it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking how lucky I was to meet you. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, uh... 
I'm glad we met too. I can tell we're going to have lots of fun together. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> lots of but fun. For now, oh, it's time for some beauty sleep. This skin doesn't stay so smooth by itself. Is that something you worry about? Before I even realized it, Sign was already in bed. I guess I should join him. The bed was so huge that it almost felt like I was the only one in it. Even when I stretched out, I couldn't feel the edge. I've shared bed with beds with other people before, but this feels a little different. Then again, maybe I'm the one that's changed. I was quietly pondering this when I felt a hand creep into my shirt and brush against my chest. Your skin's pretty smooth too. I hope you don't mind me feeling. Uh, no. Go ahead. We stayed like this for a while until sleep finally found me. <laughs> Destiny. He's gonna wake up in side room and the other's gonna flip this shit. <laughs> Speaker. More. The light shall guide you. It hasn't changed a bit, has it? It feels the same. I love these two. Cold. The pill. What? The Look at his melts, fang. He's got a fang. Look at I his fang. Some. No. She'll be any. And thick and that. Yeah. This. These. I don't. Bill. But you're. You're. I get. If you're, no. no. And now we have the end of sign. So I will cobble this together for a, a sign cut and I'll do the same thing for his common route options um, and then when the game actually comes out next year sometime I will have a Leos and a sign um, romance route up. This game is not safe for work. Um, it does have R18 plus scenes in it, so we will figure out what to do about that. Probably just skip straight over them because it's not allowed on YouTube. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Sign in a bizarre way to watch it, but. Hopefully, it's okay. Um, if you've only watched the sign things, download it, play it. It's quite long. Or you can watch the the Leos route that has all of it. Um, I will link that playthrough. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you all for playing the extended demo of the Divine Speaker. We hope you're looking forward to what's coming next.